here's a uh, one more little bit that I want to add to um, just to kind of put more explanation into it more detail it's kind of like you know you should look at your opponent in terms of uh, or a person that's in causing conflict towards you um, it's kind of similar to like this is the way that uh, I, I would see it with uh, when you're a grown adult fighting another adult like for instance for example do you remember when you were a child and um, older people seemed almost um, like so um, threatening and almost unbeatable and they were just you know untouchable and you know you're you're small and you didn't know what to do and their presence and their their height and their their facade you know their facade you know the the fake uh, character that they put off you know the front you know um when you're a kid looking up at these adults you're kind of like you know like in you feel angry towards them sometimes situations occur where you feel upset towards your uncle or you feel upset towards your uh, your uh sister's uh your older sister's boyfriends and you feel you want to fight them or something and then sometimes you do and you fail you know but the thing is though is that the reason why it fails because you're seeing too much you're 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 witness you're you're being in the presence of too much of being in you're trying to absorb too much of the information that's occurring. You're trying to absorb the the emotions. You're trying to imply too much of your emotion. You're thinking too much. You're um you're letting your emotion get in the way. You're you're letting the facade. You're letting the 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 personality the 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 facade of the person who's trying to pull off. You know he's trying to be bigger than you. He's trying to utilize his height as being stronger. He's trying. He he himself is also trying to um uh come uh trying to um develop his own personality just like you as a child you're trying to develop he's trying to develop his personality and so both of you are kind of stuck in this thing where you both are growing up and you're trying to find yourselves and so it's kind of it's very complicated but you know like when you're a child you're supposed to see through them you're supposed to see through the personality the facade they're trying to pull off when they go home they're different when when they're outside in public they act different you know and that happens a lot, you know, a lot of people put on characters, that's how you see, that's how you should see an opponent, you know, you should see them in terms of how you used to see people when you were a kid, these, you know, these tall, grown men, they have these ugly faces, they're scary, you know, ooh, they're a grown adult, you see, when you're an adult fighting another adult, you kind of have to see that, you know, we're living in, in, our, in our existence, we're living in an era that um, holds us back because of how we're emotionally and mentally developed in our lives individually and not only that but collectively in the era within itself the people interconnectedly all see the same fears and suffer through the same emotional stresses and stressor is a psychological term and uh, we all become encapsulated in this limited um, Un, uh, basically bound, bounded reality of, of capabilities. We're not being able to reach over our capabilities and be more than what we can because society wants to create limitations, sociological limitations. And you can break through those limitations by seeing through your opponent as the child, you know. If the child saw through the facade of the 14-year-old of the boyfriend of your, of your sister, you see the facade of him just, you know, being a stupid bully, being a big, dumb kid. It's the same thing as adult seeing a 14-year-old. The adult looks down at the 14-year-old because he's taller. And because he's superior, because he's taller, and he's more developed. And he sees through those. He's breaking through barriers. The, 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 the adult has broken through the barrier that the child once went through. The, the adult breaks through the barrier of having to be afraid of 14-year-old boys because he himself has grown. Now he's looking down at the 14-year-old boy uh, of, of, of the sister, you know, the example, you know. The little boy has to break through these barriers. The, and, and in the middle, you have the 14-year-old boy being afraid of the adult, looking up at the adult, but looking down at the child. There's three-step barriers that the psychological barriers. Just like how the, the adult can manhandle the 14-year-old and the child, so uh, and um and likewise the the um but um the 14 year old can only manhandle the child not the adult but the 14 year old can manhandle the child the, the the adult 
if he knows how to break through the barriers, knows how to psychologically speed up the process of the emotional, to break through his limitations of his emotions and his stress of his life, and to break through the problems of family problems and, uh, and, and money problems and, and um, trauma through his life that he's lived through his life and hasn't let go, you can break through that. Your opponent is the adult and you are the 14 year old. You break through the barrier, you're able to defeat anyone that's taller, more overweight, more faster than you. You're able to just manhandle them and strain them down. You see there's three level boundaries that, are bro that need to be broken. The child looks up at the adult and the 14 year old and can't see through the barriers that they've broken through. The adult and the 14 year old have broken through barriers, psychological barriers. It isn't so much a physical, it's psychological. The 14 year old looks down at the child but looks up in fear at the adult. So he's in the middle. He can manhandle the child but not the adult. But he can if he breaks through his own emotional limitations and the sociological limitations that are put upon him. The adult, the last level, the adult looks down at both the child and the teenager. So he's broken through two-step boundaries, limitations, if you will. Emotional, psychological, sociological limitations that are put upon him. And, and, and the theatrics of the fakeness of watching films and trying to be a Bruce Lee and all this stuff, you see? And the same thing, you know, um, the adult looks down at them because he's broken through those boundaries. But what he doesn't know is that the child and the teenager can break through and speed up their emotional uh, uh, and psychological and mental um, adaptation and beat the adult. It can happen. A child can beat an adult, you know, uh, you know it, it seems crazy, but it can. Nothing is impossible, nothing. You have to see through the adult. The adult is still a child in his body, in his mind. The child can manhandle the adult and the teenager likewise too because it's all how you see through the other people's so-called barriers and you know, show them respect. You have to break through that respect. You have to break through that and you have to show them that you're the superior and you're more justified. That's the way to fight. Not to fight by punch, but by manhandling them and putting them down. Break their emotional state, their confidence, their ego. That's how you win a fight. You break down their emotional state. You look them in the eyes. You put them down, not by punching them, but by suppressing them by allowing them not to, not to be able to move. That's the same thing with beauty. Beauty is nothing more than a concept, an emotional state. People make decisions of what is beautiful through their emotional state of their life and the era of what they're going through. They make those decisions through their emotional state. And by sociological suppression of what people want, people do trends and all this stuff. Like if you have trauma in your life as a girl, you're going to grow up and you're going to make uh, decisions based upon your emotional uh, reality, what you grew up, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And on top of that, the top layer frosting of what society perceives as a trend of what beauty is in the era. That's the same thing in the fighting. Everyone wants to be like a martial artist. Everyone wants to be like, you have to punch like this, you have to fight like this. You know, you have to do this, you have to work out, you have to build muscle. That's a sociological uh, stressor, that's a, that's a suppression. The same thing as beauty, you have to break through the, that. And you have to bust through it and you have to find the truth. The truth of reality. The same thing with physics and mathematics. Math and science, education, you go through it, you find the truth, man. Hopefully I'll solve the Riemann hypothesis or the Hodge conjecture soon. Studying a lot, just study, man. You know, that's my idea. And I'll put more out if I forgot anything else. Thanks a lot.